bitch to get loose. Oh, Chucky, fuck you! Chucky! Well, this is the good part. Well, nothing seems to go easy. Some of them, especially like the steel brush for the grinder, that's 33 euros over here. Maybe you can f find them cheaper, but I like the quality of these ones. And same like the week before, I did around 10 hours of, of work on the chassis. So, fairly easy to fill in at this moment. But in this episode, I will fill in some more, which I will show you later on so keep watching this episode like and subscribe to the channel for more of the craziness that will come well okay let's start the works again where we left last week so i want to get the strut tower back in first to get one point done and then can go to the next one so the first step is to get some sheet metal cut it fix the old rust then clear out the bottom point of the strut tower, put that back in some well true primer so that it's all protected, same like the tower. Then, some things I want to do first. These are the spot weld holes, so they will stay there. But these are holes we don't need anymore for the cable connectors. So, going to weld these through because of the cleaned engine bay, and we got this stupid hole over there we need to get rid of that as well so some repairs and some first modifications will start right now oh you said for ja nee daar moet doe ik en doei hoppakee hop 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 het is weer even weer nieuw Wat? Ben je niet? Geen aarde? This is rusty crusty. Let's get rid of that. condition and this side is all bended up so you got special tools for that uh oh the one for more tools is itching again I know it never done it before I know how to do it because I know how the metal works I stretched the metal over here to get the bend outwards and there are tools for that Shall I buy some tools again? So okay, check this out. This is an example of tools I probably would like to have. What do you all think about a set like this? Is it worth it or not? 
or should I save some more and buy all two links of this? I'm not one to use it every day because I do this crazy custom car builds and not only sheet metal. So I think something, some, a setup like this would be kind of ideal for my work. But that's it about the tooling that I would like to have. But this was a build I promised everybody that I was going to explain to do how you could do this in your garage as well. So check this out. This is the outside corner. You need to stretch the metal and bend it. And you need to take a couple of steps because you need to bend it a little bit, stretch it a bit. A little. You need to bend it a little bit, you need to stretch it a little bit and then just a couple of steps to get the right angle you want. And then flatten it down. And in this arch direction we got these tight corners and big rounded corners. If you just have a big metal rod or something round in your garage, put it in the vise and then hammer and dolly it in the right shape. Always try to find the closest shape. But you got some room to play with. In this way, you can actually, as you see it, because I don't have the tools yet, I did it as well. With no fancy equipment. So let's go ahead and get this welded in. One of the most important things to get this right and to get the welding go way better is this fitment. This fitment needs to be around one millimeter or smaller, otherwise it will be terrible. Maybe at some spots this one is even too tight, but as this is a round corner and it's really strong it won't shrink too much and we can hammer and dolly this in a good shape. This one I MIG welded and already grinded down a little bit so you can really see how thick these welds are. And the rest I thick welded and the burn through rate is way better and the welds are way flatter so way easier to grind them down. So the modification games kicked in, the first holes are cleaned in the engine bay and now I want to get these holes for the electrical cables out as well. And first we started with not removing the dashboard. But now we're going to weld under the dash. So the dashboard needs to come out. And we need to clear it out anyway because we're going to change the floors as well. New floor panels are ordered. Found a new underpiece in the garage. That's all there as well. So these modifications and repairs can go on. First take the desk out and then we can see what we got over there. Because there's a lot of rust work to do under the desk anyways. Just. Uh, I think the best way to go is just do it and uh, don't think about it and have some fun because I'm liking this. Well, nothing seems to go easy. So, we need to take the complete steering wheel off and then Work our way around as usual. So I know from the good old days, the steering wheels, especially when we changed out 
to a small steering wheel or aftermarket steer, they tend to, well, go so tight that they're not coming loose, so I'm not going to waste any time and just try and get this done this way. Hey, that went better. It's a uh, some job <laughs> to get it all through there. But the fastest way to do this. to get loose and that's only because I want to skip some time of removing the complete electrical harness behind the dash hopefully it's worth it hopefully the dash will come out right now with cables and all okay now let's take a quick look if we can get the dashboard out I was kicking over all my trays of stuff. Crap. Okay, a question for you all. Do we go pedal box and clean this stuff out? Or do we leave this original and don't go too crazy and make a good combination to a clean look and some original stuff like the brake booster clean this out go away no brake booster just the pedal box well okay that's a little bit better now it's prepared for some welding and we got some room to play that's out wiring rooms out Let's get some welding and grinding again. Well, this is kind of getting somewhere nice and clean. Well, this is the good part of the desk out. Now we can grind all the welds down as well and put it in some primer without any bad stuff mm, well now i think this is a little bit of the idiot game that started because the tower is still off and this is uh yeah a difficult to reach corner so the thing to do for me now is to clean that out and grinding down all the paint, getting it ready for some filler and of course some final small holes that we need to close up for the cleaned engine bay. So just get some grinding down.
Well, that is one of four terrible corners to go. First one's done. Now I want to get the tower back in because we found the first pieces of rust. As you know on the other side, I want to clear out. So I want the strength back in on the towers now. So that the tower is strong and so I can work my way forward. And then switch to the other side and do the same thing again. Man, this is so much more work than expected. But I am satisfied with the result so far. So let's go ahead and get the corner in. First clean out the mess a little bit. So we got some playroom. Get the tower in and hopefully we can get the days of flying with all these tiny jobs that are taking a lot of time. With sanding and grinding and welding and because of the stupid idea of to clean the engine bay, I always say, well, we're, all, we're already welding, so how much more can it be? Well, you can see it in the videos, it doesn't come easy. welding upside down but we got to do this shit or not promised the tuning game the modification game has started I've got the first parts in on the new look it's not going to change too much only all those tiny details that makes the car stand out are going to be changed one of those things is this nice carbon fiber got the original plastics covered with real carbon and did it in mud clear coat because I don't like the shiny on the champagne color so I decided to go matte carbon fiber and I really like this look so this were the original colors and this is what it's going to be right now oh man I just love this detail on the mud carbon fiber against the champagne color. Yes, I'm in love. All the details are there. There are some more off to carbon as well. When I decided to get the whole car tear it apart, so there's some more underway. But this is the first batch of insanely cool stuff. This is the under lip, all the lips, all the bottom of the... So I will explain a little bit on what's the plan. So these are the side skirts. And the carbon fiber with the champagne color. Man, I really like this combination. So, what I'm going to do is everything from around this side downwards will be carbon fiber. This way, I will take the mirrors insert as well. 
but then from the top, like the rain tray, the roof rails, and the other bits will be the same black structural as the side of the car. So the whole top will be black structural, all the plastics, and then all the way down will be carbon fiber. And, well, yes. Tower is back in. As you've seen in the video, everything is cleaned. And, yes, we cannot stay behind. Rear brake discs, original, it was still drum brakes. So, that's another upgrade in the tuning game. Not sure if I'm going to big brake it, because you won't see them behind the wheels and it will break insanely good anyway. So, first up, let's clean everything out and get some work done. Thank you all for watching again. Hope you liked the episode. Please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, put something in the comments on your opinion on how the work is going. I'm uh, pretty satisfied. I wanted to do more because running a business, well, the last three days were a bit hectic with people coming in and new projects being talked through. But steady progress is progress anyway. So thank you all for watching. See you in the next episode. Bye.